Hey, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up other open source LLMs and connect them to Autogen. I'll quickly go over how it works, then we'll set it up, and then I'll give you a use case sample to show you at the end. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is download LM Studio. Then we're going to choose a large language model that you want to use for Autogen. Then we're going to load that model into the software. Then we're going to start a local server and then connect it to Autogen and I'll show you a use case at the end. So the first step is go to lmstudio.ai. And once you get there, go ahead and download LM Studio, whichever one is for your machine. And when you're done downloading it, go ahead and run the software. Now, when you run the software, you'll see this screen and this is the main screen of LM Studio. So this is a standalone software. All we really need to know for this is in the middle at the, towards the top, you can search for models by keyword or paste a repo URL here. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and use llama for this. So I'll type in llama, click go or hit enter. And then what it's going to do is it's going to end up in giving us all of these models that we can choose from. So what you can also do is at the top here, you can sort by downloads, recent likes, uh, by the most or by the least recent. Okay. Or by the most downloads, least likes, whatever it is. Well, for our case, I'm going to click this top one by the bloke. And then on the right here, you can see we have all of these to choose from to download. And these are just different sizes. So what I would recommend is actually I went with this one, the GGUF. And I downloaded uh, this Q4KM. So how I did that was you click a download on the model that you chose. So download this, then we'll, I'll bring this up. And you can see here that it's downloading. And once this is done, we'll go to the next step. So now that the model is done downloading, what we want to do next is on the left hand side of the software here, there's this little double arrow. You'll go ahead and click this. And this is to start our local server and where we load the model. So at the top here, you can see it says select a model to load. You'll click this drop down, and I have a few downloaded, but I'll go ahead and click Llama, the one that I just downloaded. And it's going to take a minute. It'll load the model into the software for us. And once it's done, you'll see that it's loaded. And because it's a local server right here, where it says HTTP localhost one, two, three, four version one, this is the URL or the API that we're going to be using to connect to Autogen so that we can use this model now to load our prompts and see what it gives us. Now, the last step is pretty simple. All we have to do is start the server, this big, well, not really big, but this green button here, it says start server, just go ahead and click it. And there you go. We started the server with LM studio that has the llama model loaded into it. Now, all we need to do is connect that to Autogen, and then we can start using this model for our prompts. Okay. Now all I did here was I created a Python file and I have all this information here. You don't need to worry about, uh, like necessarily pausing the video and copying all, all this down. I'll have this, I have a link in the description that has all this for you. Cause I'm just going to briefly go over this because this is just to really get everything set up, show you a use case, and then you can take this and try it on your own local machine. Okay. So the difference here is we do again, have to connect Autogen to the local server so that we can use the llama model. And how you do that is you have a config list and you have three things, an API type, API base, and an API key. Now the API type, you still need to use open AI. We're still using the API for open AI, but we just don't need to use chat GPT and spend, you know, some sense on making requests. Instead, this is going to be free, no charge, and we can use open source LLMs. So we'll have the API type as open AI. This is where we're going to put our URL so that it can connect to the local server. Then the API key can just be null because again, you don't need an open AI key for this. And then for the LLM configuration, we pass in the configuration for the API stuff. And one thing I did add here, there's a max tokens of negative one. And what this means is whenever we have the server running, every word essentially is a token and some of the some of the models have a, like a max number of tokens that you can have, uh, like by default. So if you set this to negative one, now I haven't tested every model, of course, but for instance, the llama one had about 1500 and I had like a lot of agents in the group and there was a lot of talking involved. When I set this to negative one, it allowed me to go through the whole thing 
otherwise I would get some, it wasn't necessarily an error, but it would say that I've reached the maximum number of tokens. So when I set this to negative one, I was then allowed to have more words uh, in my description and they were able to talk e to each other without interruption. Now for what the use case is, I have five people here. I have me, the human admin, and then I have a content creator, a script writer, a researcher, and a reviewer. And the whole idea is I want to create a YouTube script that talks about the latest paper about GPT-4 basically, and its potential applications. And because I wanted this to be a group chat, I created a group chat here, put all of the agents here together, and then I have a manager set to the group chat manager, and then we give it the group chat so all of the agents are able to talk to each other, uh, give them the LLM configuration, and then me as the admin, I want to initiate the chat with the whole group. And then the last step is we go ahead and just run this. So go over to your terminal, type Python, llama lm underscore test dot py and you you just hit enter and so i'll go ahead and run this off screen and then when we come back i'll show you the chat and how it works okay and we're done it ran and as you can see here in lm studio in the server logs it'll give you the conversations that everybody had with each other and what I meant by the tokens, I'll show you real quick. So one token was the word note. Second token was a semicolon. Third token was the letter I. And then the fourth one was the apostrophe and so forth. So each of these are tokens. And with the max token minus one, um, you don't have to worry about each model, what like the maximum amount is. So that, that help will help you. It can't handle some of these models well whenever it's running. Um, so as you can see here, we have the full conversation studio. And if we also go back to PyCharm, so you can see here, we had the same conversation. Uh, because I changed the temperature, they didn't really communicate that well with each other and they didn't come up with like a super revised script. Um, but here's like the, uh, the points that the content creator wanted. Here was the introduction and then basically uh, the script writer research and everybody was done. Oh, they were like, yep, that's good. But you know, this was an example. Um, actually, when I ran this last night, it, uh, it gave me everything. And I think part of the request timeouts were maybe something up with the servers with LM Studio um, because it was taking quite a long time. Last night it was really quick, um, but that's okay. You're gonna run this stuff whenever you do things like this. Um, that's okay, we just keep trying and maybe my prompting could be better. But uh, anyways, it worked. We were able to use a different open source model to create a YouTube script about uh, a white paper on AI. All right, and so we have successfully used other open source LLMs using a piece of software called LM Studio. We connected it to AutoGen, and then in AutoGen, we had prompts and AI agents create a YouTube script for us. We just had a group chat to do this and kind of change some things because I did. I do notice that at night, uh, whenever I connect AutoGen with open source LLMs with LM Studio, it runs a lot smoother. Um, and, and it runs a lot better and quicker and I don't get request timeouts. Um, so if you do end up getting request timeouts, I would suggest just increasing that in the LLM config, like you'll see whenever you uh, look at all my configurations for this use case. But if you have any other questions or something didn't quite make sense, leave the comments down below. Um, if you don't mind like and subscribing, and I would be more than happy to talk with you about AI and respond to any of your comments. I'll see you next video and have a good day.